Hey Brian, it's Colin. I'm just going to give you a quick, a quick overview of what I found here. Um, and you're going to run into the same thing. This is the area right here that you're probably concerned about the most or one of them. Um, optimize images. Any pictures you use in your site, you could actually um, go to a place called Tiny uh, JP, JPG. Type that into Google and you go to this site here. You can uh, drop your images in here. It will actually optimize them for you. Uh, for the web even further than what uh, what uh, is either in your template or what you're using. It's totally up to you, but this is one of the things you could do. Um, now here's where you get into this other stuff here, this render blocking JavaScript CSS above the fold and leverage, brow leverage browser caching, that's a server-side thing, uh, minify JavaScript and minify CSS. Um, we don't do those in the template because that's something you'd have to do after the fact because if you have to make any adjustments while you're building your site, minified you can't do it in a minified format. So you actually have to um, take your style sheets and your JS and you have to go to a like minify JS um, and there's a JavaScript minifier right here for example. You put your JavaScript in here and it outputs it over here. Um, we get back to this report right here. Uh, same with Minify CSS. You mentioned something else, so it's like, let me reread your question. What I am going to do is address your question of too many CSS on the site. Okay, so let's go back here. Now, what we do in the template to make it easier for you, the user, to edit the CSS is we put them into smaller style sheets, like so, and uh, they load into the site. Now we actually have a script that we can use. It's a little bit advanced, but what it does is it loads your CSS asynchronous, asynchronously, which basically means it puts it into a, a script and then it allows it to uh, load into the site that way. I can provide that if you want to send me your login information. We can test it out. Um, and that way all the scripts are sort of compiled into what would be called one, and this is actually Google's recommendation for that. Uh, the other thing is, if you're talking about Bootstrap, is a really large um, CSS file. If it's just too much CSS overall, Bootstrap has 5,500 lines of CSS in it. That's it's just a huge CSS file. It is possible I could whittle that down for you. Um, but going through, that's I've never used WooRank, so I don't know what it's looking for. I can only provide information on what I'm aware of. But probably loading your CSS asynchronously. Um, using a script versus loading it uh, using a link, uh, that would probably save you at least one of those reports that, that's coming up. Because what happens is when you're loading a CSS file, in a nutshell, everything after that just sort of is put on hold while it loads the next one and the next one and the next one. They load really fast, but with the script, what it does is it loads them all at once. You can't load Bootstrap and backgrounds and menu bar and styles at the same time. It loads bootstrap. When bootstrap is done, then it loads backgrounds, then it loads menu bar, then it loads CSS. Okay, that's why they call it render blocking because it requires one to finish downloading before the next one loads in. Although bootstrap is big, it does load in quick, right? Um, but if we loaded those asynchronously using a script, it sort of bypasses that whole thing and loads them all at once because it's being loaded in by a Google script. Um, like I said, that would be the only thing I could think of.